everybody. This is Corey with Corey Hall Fitness. And this week, I'm going to show you how to bulk up with a chest and tricep workout with only doing calisthenics, okay? Some people have a hard time figuring out how to do that and what you're supposed to do to bulk up by just doing calisthenic and bodyweight exercises. But there's some, some things that you're going to need to change a little bit and add in order to bulk up. So that's what I'm going to show you today with this chest and tricep workout. So I hope you're ready. Okay, before we get started with the workout, I'm going to go over the tools that you're going to need in order to complete this workout, okay? JDP. Okay, here we go. This is the first exercise. These are called weighted dips. What I did, I got my 35-pound uh, kettlebell. I got my weight belt, I got everything strapped up, ready to go. And uh, the reason for the weight is because I'm trying to increase the size and my strength, okay? So when I add weight on, that's exactly what it's gonna do. Instead of just my body getting used to doing body weight exercises, I'm gonna do those same exercises, but I'm adding weight on. So the next time I take this weight off and I do these, I'm gonna be more explosive, more powerful, and a whole lot stronger, okay? That's the reason for the weight. And that's what we're doing for this workout. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do just regular dips, just adding the 35 pounds on, and you wanna make sure that you come all the way down to a 90 degree angle, and you come straight back up, lock your arms back out. Now if you aren't doing that form, that means you got too much weight on. Lower the weight, don't be afraid to lower the weight. Your bodies and your muscles gotta get used to doing this, okay? So don't try to kill yourself doing this. Do what you're comfortable doing, and push yourself also at the same time, okay? So here we go, we're gonna do 10. Okay, we gave ourselves about a 20, 30 second break. Nothing, anything longer than that, okay? We're immediately gonna take the weight off. We'll come over here and we're gonna do some Russian dips. We're gonna do 10 of these, okay? I'm gonna show you what a Russian dip looks like. You're up here in the full range of motion of a dip. You're gonna come down, then you're gonna fall onto your forearms, shoot right back up, okay? And uh, what we're doing with that, that helps you that helps you learn your uh, stability with your muscle. It, learns, it helps you control your muscle better. It's gonna help you learn control your dip better. And uh, overall, it just builds even more muscle than a regular dip can do, okay? So here we go. We do 10. Another 20, 30 second break. Nothing longer than 30 seconds, okay? What we're gonna do, now we're just doing regular dips, no weight, no Russian dips, nothing fancy. Just regular dips. You wanna make sure you're doing full range of motion, okay? What we're gonna do, we're gonna do about 20 of these. Since we don't have any weight on, we're not doing any fancy form, just regular dips, we're gonna do about 20 of them. And uh, we're gonna see how, how this feels, okay? You, you've already done the weight, you've already done the Russian dips and you know how difficult those are. So let's do the regular dips and just punch out these, okay? We're gonna do high reps, here we go. center blocks now if you don't have center blocks just use something that's elevated at least about six inches off the ground six to seven inches okay so we're gonna do some deep push-ups and what that's doing 
it's, it's going above and beyond a regular push-up. You're going to be tearing more of your muscle than actual regular push-up would, okay? And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Get in push-up position. You're going to come deep, about two inches off the ground. Push up and clap, okay? You're going to do it just like that. Now we're going to do 10 of these. Now make sure you're going deep past the point of the top of this center block. You want to be about two inches off the ground. You're going to shoot back up as hard as you can. You're going to clap at the top. Ready? decline push-ups. Instead of doing a uh, regular neutral push-up, I'm going to be doing some decline. And once again, you want to get center block, something that's six, seven, eight inches off the ground. We're going to go as deep as we can, about two inches off the ground, and we're going to shoot back up, okay? This time, we're just going to be doing some decline push-ups, okay? Here we go. We're going to do 10 of them. final exercise we came over to the parallel bars again what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing some straight bar dips what we did before was the parallel bar dips just some regular dips and now we're gonna be doing some straight bar ones okay and what I did is um, I got my kettlebells again this time I got a 15 pounder instead of 35 pounder you're gonna to want to lighten the weight up a little bit for these these are a little bit harder than the regular dips so what I'm gonna do straight bar dips is this gonna help increase the reps and the strength in your muscle ups because when people come up into a muscle up in the transition part and they're going to push up, what you're doing is a straight bar dip. Some people can't even do that yet. So if you can't do it, this exercise is really gonna help. And if you wanna add weight on, it's really, really gonna help. So here we go. We're gonna do about 10. All right, everybody, that's the video for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, what this is gonna do, again, this is gonna help increase your strength, size, and stamina with these workouts, okay? Adding the weight is definitely gonna increase the size, okay? As far as stamina, once you take that weight off and you start doing reps without the weight, you're gonna notice that you're gonna have more stamina, you're gonna last longer on the bars, okay? So make sure you do this. And uh, make sure you subscribe, do yourself a favor. I do videos and tutorials every single week. Make sure you go to my website and check it out, www.coryhallfitness.com. Click store. I got uh, full workouts on there, street workouts, calisthenic, extreme calisthenics, okay? Every body part, every muscle you're going to be working out, so make sure you go check that out, okay? And uh, make sure you write a comment. Write me a message. Let me know what you think about these workouts, all right? Thanks.